For tonight, Florida's citrus crop is facing its worst season in more than a century with storms and disease cutting harvest to historic lows. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows us now, a surprise discovery in one grove may offer Florida's citrus industry new hope for the future. Florida citrus growers are in survival mode. Yields are down, costs are up, and a bacterial disease called citrus greening is devastating groves statewide. You look at all of these, like the ripple effects of that out into Florida's economy, I think we're going to feel it. We're going to feel it in ways we're not going to like. In Tampa, the Tiger Bay Club just got an update from the state's top crop official, Agriculture Commissioner Wilton Simpson, who spoke about the legislature just approving nearly $140 million to prop up the state's citrus industry. The money that was put in the budget this year not only is continuing research, but will help farmers substantially replant. Florida's citrus industry peaked at 200 million boxes of oranges in 2006. This season, just 11.6 million, the lowest in more than a century. It's horribly painful because you've got multi-generational families that have replanted a couple of times and greening has taken them. But Simpson also spoke about a glimmer of hope. A single 30-year-old tree recently found in Groveland, Florida. Despite being infected, the Donaldson tree is thriving and still producing quality fruit. So now what we're doing is we're produ mass producing these trees and hopefully with $100 million the Senate President put in the budget this year, we will get thousands of acres, maybe tens of thousands of acres replanted in the next two to three years. And that is what's going to bring our citrus industry back. In the meantime, orange juice prices have skyrocketed, nearly doubling in the past five years. So for growers and consumers, the Donaldson tree offers more than fruit. It's a glimmer of hope in an industry desperate for solutions. In Tampa, Eric Lasser. Citrus growers are also holding their breath during the year's hurricane season. A last year, Hurricane Milton cut a path through Florida's citrus belt that led to an estimated 20% reduction in orange production.